Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 24th, 2019. So yesterday, my goodness, it just seemed like everything was starting to come up roses. We had really good earnings reports, and after the bell, we had another round of really strong, really good earnings reports. Market pushing up in the end of the day, pushing up strongly, giving us a nice pattern here, almost what you um, what you could uh, term as a morning star pattern here on the diamonds, and very very close to breaking through some resistance to the upside and setting all time new high records. Our trends are holding strong. Everything seems to be coming up roses and looking very good here in the market. So what's the story this morning? This morning, we have futures looking just slightly lower. Now, that seems kind of odd after such a strong round of earnings and things going on. But here's the thing that I believe is happening. I could be absolutely wrong. Today, we actually hit some of those earnings reports that may be a bit meaningful as to the impacts of the trade wars. So for example, we're going to hear from Caterpillar this morning. They have a really big stake, obviously, uh, in what goes on in China. And we're going to hear from them this morning. It could be an interesting report. And it, it may be one of those first clues as what some of those impacts might be. Because as we look at the earnings right now, all of this angst, all of this worry about earnings reports, all of these warnings of uh, missing earnings reports really haven't come to fruition. So uh, this also begs the question, you know, if, if there is no global economic impacts to the U.S. market, do we even need a rate cut? with all the numbers continuing to come in so strong. So kind of an interesting situation that we're dealing with here. And then the next thing that may really be plaguing the market here just a little bit is the big antitrust a net that the federal government is casting around tech companies right now. Facebook being one of those, and Facebook is also reporting this morning and there may be a little bit of concern around that. We have Facebook in that mass, we have Apple, we have Google, and I don't know what others might be involved in this antitrust investigation uh, going on. But those are all companies set to report uh, here the rest of the week. So um, a little bit of apprehension around that. So perhaps the earnings will be good and we can find all we need for information to push the market higher. However, if we start seeing some of those impacts, we could see um, resistance levels here in the chart maybe hold up. So let's talk about that for just a second. Our trends are strong. There's no doubt about it. We're holding support levels. We're doing well. If the market does turn around, we want to watch this level right in here. If we start to sink below that, we could have a little concern and that would probably drop us down into this level possibly breaking the trend. Also, if the market decides to move higher, this is where our problem could lie. Um, that's where our resistance is. So if we start to move up, watch for that resistance and then that possible breakout to that upside that could really get some things going. So we might want to um, watch that closely. Now, as I'm speaking here, Boeing Boeing just issued earnings and had a massive miss, and I don't think that was a big surprise um, with their trouble with the 737 MAX. And as you can see, we are already moving lower this morning here on Boeing. So not a big surprise here, so we're not getting that big, massive move this morning. So that will certainly have an impact on the Dow this morning. So let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, what's going on with the SPY? Well, SPY continuing to hold its trend, looking beautiful here as a chart, just holding that trend, moving up nicely, nice little pullback and firing back up to the upside. One of the things that's interesting is we missed breaking the top of this uh, bearish engulfing candle here. You can see the high is is at 300.07. We missed that. 
it, uh, we finished the day at 300.03, just four ticks below breaking back through that bearish engulfing candle. So what does that mean? Well, that means we still have price resistance up here to be concerned about. And I, I'm just going to place that up here. Um, we have to get through that price resistance in the chart if we start moving higher. And every reason to believe that we could move higher, by the way. And if we start to show failure here, if we start to drop, we don't want to lose this support right here because that would probably suggest coming all the way back down to this uh, breakout high. And um, that could obviously bring some pain in the market. And if we're looking at where the futures right now are pointing to, we're looking at an open SPY somewhere around here. So keep an eye on that pretty closely. Um, who knows what will actually come of that. But just a little bit of pressure here on the market this morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q is also very, very bullish. Trends holding up very, very well. Nice and strong moves. Um, beautiful hold of price support here. So there's really nothing um, in this chart that would suggest that we are, are going to suddenly turn bearish. But um, let's be very aware of our price resistance in this chart. Be very aware of our price resistance here. And let's watch that pretty closely. If we can start to move up, notice that we are indicated just a little bit lower this morning. So a bit of a hammer pattern here. We know a hammer pattern at the top of a market can be a bit of a concern that um, we actually call that a hanging man. And that hanging man at the top of a pattern can be a bit of a concern if we get follow through to the downside from that. So let's watch that close. And if we start to see that selling, the real critical point here for the queues would be holding that breakout high. We don't want to see that failure down through there. We could have some serious problems coming in the market. Last but not least, IWM. This guy is just such a mess anyway. Pretty darn hard to, um, to see much love here in this market. It's been in a downtrend for a very, very long time. Broke its little uptrend. It was trying to wedge and broke that little uptrend. It's been ranging around and testing some support levels here in the chart. So far, hasn't really failed them, hasn't really held them. So we're just kind of bouncing around in here. This morning, we're seeing a little bit of pressure on I, uh, IWM as well, pushing down slightly. So we'll want to watch these levels in here. If we start to break those lows, we could have a little bit of follow through to the downside on IWM. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, yesterday really pulling back sharply, uh, not showing any fear in the market. This downtrend that I've been talking about um, in the VIX continues to remain in place, pushing down here toward these lows um, or the support level in the market. Now, I would expect this to start elevating a little bit today. We'll have to wait and see if that holds through, but a little bit of concern here. Um, um, possibly coming in this morning based on the futures. So we might see that elevate just a little bit, but I don't think we're going to really have too much trouble until we break that downtrend and maybe even hold it as support. Then we have to worry about um, what might happen here in the VIX, a little bit of fear coming in. In fact, I would tell you down in this area, I, I really got to say, I think what the VIX is showing us is a bit of complacency where the market just doesn't want to believe that we can fall at all. And usually that is that kind of scares me when I see that, that uh, major complacency in the market. So we'll have to, I think we really should keep an eye on that pretty closely and watch if um, we do start to falter here a little bit. We could see that fear begin to spike up pretty quickly if that is the case. I'm not suggesting that is the case, just that we should be watching that. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday was a really good day for the, the ratio moving us right back up here. Now, unfortunately, T2122 is really not a great directional indicator until we reach up here in this, what I call the bearish reversal zone, or we're down here in the bullish reversal zone. So what T2122 is telling us today is we still have substantial 
area up here for an upside move. But we also have about an equal potential, maybe a little bit more potential for a downside move. So let's um, just kind of keep that in mind. We could go either direction. It's really going to be dependent on those earnings reports. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Just had the um, earnings reports from Caterpillar. Caterpillar missing um, on their report. So that's going to certainly affect uh, Dow futures this morning. A little bit of pressure coming in. So we've had Boeing and Caterpillar both disappoint this morning. And um, that will that will provide a little pressure to the market uh, for a downside move. We'll have to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. And our economic calendar may have some whoops, may have something to say about what um, what may happen um, overall in the market today. We have a new home sales report at 10 a.m. Eastern. So we'll want to watch this one pretty closely. That one certainly can move the market. And the EIA Petroleum Status Report, we know how that can affect um, any of our oil service stocks. So you might want to keep an eye on that. But probably the bigger bigger stressor today might be that new home sales um, where we might see some of those pressures coming in the market. Right now, analyst estimates are still holding pretty strong here. So um, I don't think anyone is expecting any kind of a surprise, but you always want to pay attention to news like that. As a matter of fact, I think consensus is suggesting new home sales actually increased. So once again, that raises that concern. Okay, can we really justify a rate cut? Something to think about as we move forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that little bell icon that pops up. And um, so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I'm, I'm now approaching 600 videos. Just a few more and we'll have 600 videos on YouTube. And the purpose of these morning market prep videos are just to focus on the details of the chart. Not get caught up in the hype, not get caught up in the drama of the day, but to really focus in on what the price action of the chart is telling us and what we may expect. I don't try to predict the market. I literally want to just follow the market. So if you guys find this helpful, please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, we don't need great big comments. Heck, a small, smiley face or a thumbs up is sufficient um, in, those, in that comment section. But anything along those lines help the algorithm show these videos to more folks. And it really is you. I do my best job to put out good quality content. But it really is up to you folks watching these videos that um, help the channel grow. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. Um, it means the world to me. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And remember, every time I point out a stock that could be setting up, um, it, is, it is meant as, as a watch list stock. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. Everyone needs to take the time to evaluate the, um, um, their trades and find out whether or not that trade fits them, if it fits their rules, their plans. So make sure to take that into consideration when you're looking at some of these stocks. Let's take a look at UAL. UAL, beautiful move here yesterday. Nice little rally, and, and we've just been doing this nice little pattern. And this, this chart incorporates 99% of the patterns that I trade. And that is a rallying stock that pulls back to trend and support. I call that a pullback opportunity. I wait for the buyers to step in. I take those trades. A stock moves up and then consolidates itself over to trend, holding at resistance levels or support levels and trend. And I wait for that entry signal to occur to move the market up. So here we are again. We're consolidating this move. A little bit of consolidation, a little bit of pullback here in the chart. Moving sideways over here and we start to see buying coming in. Now I would suggest that this could, even though we popped up here to, um, yesterday, this has the potential to, to finish this move up. Notice how we'd like to come back to the trend here. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, 
but UAL could be setting up for the trade and um, really nice trending pattern that looks like it wants to continue uh, moving on to the upside. Let's take a look at LVS. LVS made that kind of move yesterday. Nice little move up, consolidating over toward trend, buyers stepping in here. Now, one concern about LVS is we have this resistance level right here to challenge uh, this chart. But so far, looking pretty good. And because we're popping away from the trend just a little tiny bit, don't be surprised if we catch a little more rest or pullback in here, moving over toward that trend. However, the way I have this trend could be absolutely wrong. The trend could be right here. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, um, LVS looking pretty good at the end of the day yesterday, um, like that chart. How about Restoration Hardware? Restoration Hardware, nice rally up, breaking through resistance levels here, and now doing this nice tight consolidation. I want to watch this. You can see my pink line here. That is my alert for the trade. And watching this chart for that potential move to start breaking on out. Now, I favor it to the upside because it is in a current uptrend. However, um, since we've slid past our trend here, it is equally possible that this doesn't move higher. We get a failure here. So we can watch this chart from both directions um, and have a potential uh, tight entry on that trade. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple was, a, was something I alerted everyone to right way options to the other day. And there's that pattern again. We break the downtrend in a rallying move, consolidate that move, and by golly, there those buyers step in here following along with this little uptrend and a really nice result yesterday for folks, a lot, well, the last couple days in Apple. So congratulations to everyone on that. This looks like there is possibility to move higher, but this little pressure in the market coming in may um, have an effect on that. So don't be surprised if this pulls back a little bit. And remember, it's going to report on the 30th. So one to watch, keep an eye keep an eye on. Take a look at Dish Network. Dish Network is another one of those patterns. And I brought this to everyone's attention on our Sunday night um, class. We do a, a, a Sunday night chart review um, thing in Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. Every Sunday, one of us, one of our trainers, will be doing... Um, a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up. And I brought up this chart on Sunday as a potential. And all that is, is just that simple little pullback to trend, little resting period here and pop. We hit on Monday and followed through yesterday, looking really good. I wouldn't chase dish here. I would wait for the next entry into the trade, let it follow its trend, get a little rest, a little pullback in here, watch for that next entry into the trade. Um, let's take a look at um, Cisco. Cisco is another one of those charts that I've been talking about. And Cisco looking pretty good here. After breaking through this ugly resistance up here, you can see how this pattern has just kind of put in a little rest right in here after that breakthrough. It needed to catch its breath after pushing up through there. So now we're watching this for that potential move on higher. Reports on 814, of course, this could be affected by how tech earnings come out. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And um, so far looking pretty good here in the chart. So I want to keep, keep this one uh, pretty close to my vest and, and watch this close for a potential entry. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Hey, we had a couple people yesterday that took advantage, um, actually a couple more than than I had a, originally allowed. Um, I, I, I had suggested if if you click, there's a link right underneath uh, the, the title of this video that'll take you back to the blog post. If you look at the blog post, there is actually a banner on there about a... Um, allowing you to take 50% off the monthly 
um, membership to right way options. If there's anyone out there still interested in that, I've decided because there, uh, there was enough folks that wanted that yesterday kind of went past my limit that I had talked about. I'm going to leave that open, um, through the end of this week. So up until, you know, uh, the end of Friday, that will be available to you. So if you're interested in something like that, maybe taking advantage of something like that, take a shot at it right now with a 50% discount on that monthly membership. Um, just click that link below um, and then um, go into the blog and you'll see that banner and just click that banner. Make sure you use the priority code or the promo code SAVE50. It's on that banner end. So make sure you use that to get your um, discount on the on the service. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the very best. And we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Thursday morning. Take care now.